start today with our politics lead and that explosive and combative hearing on Capitol Hill with FBI Director Christopher Wray today. House Republicans unleashed a tsunami of accusations and attacks against the FBI and its Trump-appointed director, Christopher Wray, accusing Wray of weaponizing the Bureau against conservatives, lambasting the Bureau's participation in last year's search of Trump's Florida home. American speech is censored, parents are called terrorists, Catholics are called radicals, and I haven't even talked about the spying that took place of a presidential campaign or the raiding of a former president's home. Ray also today making a stunning announcement about the unprecedented number of threats and attacks against the Bureau since the August search of Mar-a-Lago, revealing that threats against federal law enforcement have gotten so bad since then, he has now created a unit solely focused on protecting FBI personnel. Democrats in the House used their time today to question Ray about Trump's involvement in the January 6th attack and his mishandling of classified documents, according to the prosecutor, while also accusing their Republican colleagues of holding today's hearing as part of an effort to protect Donald Trump. House Republicans will attack the FBI for having had the audacity to treat Donald Trump like any other citizen. The strategy is simple, really. When in doubt, Chairman Jordan investigates the investigators. The FBI dared to hold Trump accountable, so Republicans must discredit the FBI at all costs. Director Ray also called accusations from some that the FBI was involved in the January 6th insurrection, quote, ludicrous. CNN Sarah Murray is digging into this contentious and confrontational hearing. Thank you. Good morning, Chairman Jordan, Ranking Member Nadler, members of the committee. FBI Director Christopher Ray weighing in on some of the most hot-button political investigations in testimony on Capitol Hill, critiquing former President Donald Trump's sloppy retention of classified documents. I don't want to be commenting on the pending case, but I will say that there are specific rules about where to store classified information and that those need to be stored in a SCIF, a secure compartmentalized information facility. And uh, in my experience, ballrooms, bathrooms, and bedrooms are not SCIFs. Insisting in the wake of Hunter Biden's plea deal on tax charges that the Bureau is not protecting the Biden family. Are you protecting the Bidens? A absolutely not. The FBI well, does not and has no oh, interest on. in protecting anyone politically. You won't answer the question about whether or not that... And disavowing some of the behavior outlined in special counsel John Durham's probe, which documented missteps by the FBI in its investigation into the 2016 Trump campaign's ties with Russia. I consider the conduct that was described in the Durham report as totally unacceptable and unrepresentative of what I see from the FBI every day and must never be allowed to happen again. Ray, however, stood by the search at Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. I would not call it a raid. I would call it the execution of a lawful search warrant. And defended the FBI's rank and file amid a wave of threats in the wake of that search. We did uh, stand up a whole dedicated unit to focus uh, on threats to FBI uh, uh, individuals, FBI employees, and FBI facilities because of the uptick that we saw uh, over that time period. Ray facing off against some of his toughest congressional critics on the House Judiciary Committee, where Republicans have threatened to slash the Bureau's budget and accused FBI leadership of political bias. People trusted the FBI more when J. Edgar Hoover was running the place than when you are. Respectfully, Congressman, in your home state of Florida, the number of people applying to come work for us and devote their lives working for us is over up over 100 percent. We're deeply proud of them, and they deserve better than you. All as Democrats took shots at their GOP colleagues. We are here today because MAGA Republicans will do anything to protect Donald Trump, their savior no matter how unfounded or dangerous it may be to do so. Now, Ray also told the panel that the notion that he is biased against conservatives was insane to him, given his own personal background. He's a registered Republican, and he was, again, appointed to this job by Republican President Donald Trump, Jake. Sarah Murray, thanks so much. So let's talk about this with a decorated former FBI agent who served under FBI directors uh, James Comey and Robert Mueller, and that's CNN's Josh Campbell. Josh, uh, Director Ray mentioned increased threats against FBI personnel in the wake of the Mar-a-Lago search, but uh, the FBI is not only concerned about the agents involved in, in that search, are they? 
No, in fact, Ray is concerned about all 38,000 FBI employees and whether they might actually be targets. And that's why he mentioned the Bureau standing up this unit to guard against threats against FBI employees. We know, Jake, that this is not just an academic exercise, that words actually matter, particularly the former president, Donald Trump, uh, you know, who has accused the FBI of all kinds of wrongdoing pertaining to that search at Mar-a-Lago. We know that after those comments and after Trump, you know, accused them of malfeasance, a Trump supporter actually went and attacked at an FBI field office in Cincinnati. And so we see just how real the issue is for FBI employees, having them on guard because of these words. Now, you know, throughout this hearing, we saw Ray trying to bat down a number of conspiracy theories. Uh, there was an exchange I want you to hear that happened just a few moments ago where this was a Republican member uh, essentially insisting that the FBI was some kind of inside job in the January 6th uh, attack. Now, the member's time had, had expired, but Ray felt a need to uh, jump in and, and make sure his voice was known and heard. Have a listen. If you are suggesting that the violence that at, Cap at the Capitol on January 6th was part of some operation orchestrated by FBI sources or FBI agents, the answer is no, it was not. And to suggest otherwise is a disservice to our hardworking, dedicated law enforcement profession. Now, there have been actual, you know, cases of wrongdoing by FBI employees, but, you know, throughout this hearing, we've seen a number of these conspiracy theories uh, being put out there. And as the FBI and other security experts say, some of them have real consequences if they actually lead people to act with violence. All right, Josh Campbell, thanks so much.